Today on the channel, they grow up so fast from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Marvel Legends Deluxe Edition, Groot. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Marvel Legends Deluxe Edition unboxing and review. And today from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, we've got the Deluxe Groot. But for all your Groot needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on all in-stock items and anything over $59 does ship free. And Groot... No stranger to the Marvel Legends line in different sizes from Baby Groot to Teen Groot to Big Deluxe Groot to Full Grown Groot. We've had all the colors of the rainbow for Groot. And it looks like he is continuing to grow in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And this is just starting to hit Target stores if you're looking out there. However, this is about a $50 price point at Target where the Entertainment Earths of the World... $38.99, and like I said, you get up to $59, you can save an extra 10%. So not exactly sure what's going on with that Target markup there. I don't know what Target's up to. They're, they're up to some shenanigans, I think. But obviously, if you're going to get this at Target, I would just play a little bit of that long game or wait for one of those sales. They've just recently had a big sale at Target. I think it was spend $50, get $10 off, and spend $100, get $25 off. Got to get a deal out there if you're going to go that way. Or, like I said, I'd recommend Entertainment Earth. You probably save a, a little bit of money on this one uh, in the future here. But we're, of course, going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's look at old Groot. Plastic-free packaging, but not for long. Sounds like maybe the very end of 2023, but definitely into 2024. Plastics back, baby. We're getting the plastic back. Uh, very interesting how that'll go. We've talked about that in the toy news of the week, of course. Uh, but nice front cover here, I guess. It's kind of demonstrating what you're going to get inside the package. You can't see it, but trust me, this is what's here. But you guys know how that goes as well. Uh, but good packaging. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, Marvel Legends, Groot. All the hits being played. There's little Groot on the side. And a little animated version of Groot there. And then on the back... No cross-sell, nothing like this. A one-off deluxe figure. A lot of accessories, or a few accessories, I should say, here. All the UPCs, warnings, all that kind of stuff down around below. Nothing too fun with that. Let's get him out of the package. Let's see what's going on. Is There's no blurbage of any kind here. No, nothing. 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 So, I don't know. I don't know what you do about that. Spider-Man style, bam. See you later. Goodbye. And let's pull Groot out of the package here. The old cardboard. Get him out. Bam, see you later. Off to the side there. And everything fell out of the cardboard here. So, see you later as well. Now we get down to the old plastic baggies. Ah, oh, the old parchment paper. Everybody loves the parchment paper. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But we got the big old Groot wings going on. He's going to fly away. See you later. Goodbye. What do we got here? Oh, we got a few accessories. I'm here for the accessories. This deluxe one, 50 bucks. I don't know. See you later. As much as I like Groot, I don't know if I can co-sign the $50 price point on this one. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Very interesting. Very cool first impressions out of the parchment paper. Bam. See you later. Goodbye. All right. Let's break this one down. Let's do it like we always do it. Let's start with the accessories first here. Now we get two big old fists of fury for Groot. When all else fails, he's throwing some fists. and He's got two splayed out hands on him. Two fisted hands right here. Looking very tree like. I think that makes sense. It's very brown color, but you do get a little bit of green mixed in here. Almost like a young swamp thing color green there. I like that. <clears throat> I like that a whole lot. You guys know I love me some swamp thing, but yeah, two big fists for Groot if you want him throwing some punches. You can do that for sure. Then we get some wing accessories, and I guess we'll figure it out once the movie comes out in a couple of months here. There's a lot to uh, a lot of questions with this one. What does it all mean? And it looks like the wings go together into this backpack. They fold right in there, pop right in like that. So you got the big wings. Going to take up some shelf room, that's for sure. But does look good. Once again, you got some green going in here. So I don't know if that's kind of the evolution of Groot. You know, he goes from brown to green. Will he be all green like Swamp Thing eventually? Maybe. I don't know. But he's got... 
the wing uh, background, and I'm sure this will come into play into the movie like we did say. But it looks good. I guess that is really part of the deluxeness of this figure. And in all honesty, to me, uh, we're going to unbox the whole Guardians of the Galaxy wave on the channel. We're going to break it all down like we usually do these sets. But man, that Cosmo Build-A-Figure, I haven't dived into it yet, but it really does not feel like a Build-A-Figure to me. I really feel this group should have been the Build-A-Figure. Put Rocket and Cosmo as a two-in-one pack. That's how it really should have went. I think most of us agree with that. Not a big fan of how the Hasbro team did that. It just didn't feel right. Didn't pass the old litmus test for me. Now the final accessory we get here is this little raccoon. I'm not sure if this is a spoiler for the movie or what. Is this Rocket Raccoon friend? Is this him getting de-aged? Did something happen to Rocket Raccoon? Is this a totally different raccoon? I don't know. You guys uh, maybe be able to answer that. But I'm sure there's more to the story here and we'll find out with the movie. But it's a, a little raccoon. So one of these things that's an accessory you could really use anywhere. You want to put this with your Ninja Turtles? You could do that. You want to do a South Park Woodland Critter Christmas? You can put it with this as well if you want to. So some extra accessory use out of that raccoon there. But now the main event is here. We got old Groot out of the package. Let's see what all the fuss is about with Groot here. Big, bulky figure. I mean, he is a big figure, but man, let's be honest. We've had Build-A-Figures in Marvel Legends waves bigger than this, chunkier than this in the past. A strong guy, you know, some of the abominations, things like that. They could have done that. I, I think they very well could have done that. But you know what it is? It's about money. You follow the dollar signs. That's what it's always about at the end of the day. But I really do like the head sculpt on this Groot. I mean, it looks like Groot teenage a little baby 20s we'll call it 20s Groot I don't know but he does have a nice soft expression on his face uh something friendly he looks like a friendly creature where sometimes these woodland creatures like this like think back to the Lord of the Rings movie those big talking trees they didn't seem so friendly at first they had great voices of course but you know how it goes they didn't want to help and then they did Groot looks like a guy that would help from the big from the get-go as far as tree people go and let me tell you, I'm an expert on tree people. Expert on tree people. Uh, but looking good. I like the head sculpt on this one. He's got a big kind of block head going there. And then we do get some of that green. And we're seeing that green throughout. So it's like he's sprouting. He's growing. And I keep saying it. There's going to be more to the story, I'm sure, in the movie when we do finally see that movie. But let's walk through the articulation real quick on this one. Arms do go all the way around. Uh-oh. We got that shoulder guard. You got to... So he's not... I don't know if you call it a shoulder guard, but it's a shoulder piece of bark. How about that? It does get a little bit in the way there. It is connected. It is kind of around the arm. So it is a little interesting. It will move with the arm, but it does get in the way a little bit. But it is movable. So you can kind of move it out of the way. Things like that. But you got those kind of bark shoulder guards. Uh, that'll get in the way of some of the articulation. We do get a bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows. How about that? Oh my gosh. Extremely tight elbows. I think I might even have to heat it up. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to heat it up. I'm not going to risk breaking this figure. But yeah, he does have <laughs> single jointed elbows and they are pinless elbows. Uh, doesn't look to be double jointed. Uh, hands going to be removable. Hands side to side, back and forth. Big tight hands on this guy. He's got the big splayed out hands like I did say there. Looking good. I think I prefer the Fists of Fury though. Uh, he's got the hula hoop. Yep, he's got the hula hoop at top. He's got top articulation. No traditional waist articulation. We talked about the head, back and forth, side to side. Uh, a lot of down on this guy. A lot of up. Yeah, actually really good head movement on Groot here. He can do those big old Groot splits if he ever needs to do that for whatever reason he might need to do that. He can. Does have a thigh cut. We do got single jointed knees. Then you get the side to side on the knees as well. Very Super 7 like. And then we got the toe articulation or foot articulation. Big feet articulation on this one. A little bit of a pain point here. I'm glad that this is brown in the joint there, but it does kind of catch your eye. It's a very high joint in there, so I don't know why you would need to go so high as far as an ankle articulation, but it is there if you need it. If you're looking for that, you can have that, so there it is. He does kind of have like a chest plate around him, a little bit more extra beef that way, uh, but he is definitely beefy in the middle and got an interesting backside as well, so he's got some of that there. I wonder how easy this plugs in. It looks like it plugs in just like G.I. Joe style into the backpack. Yep, there it is, and he's got some wings, so he can fly away, just fly away wherever he needs to go, like some kind of a fairy or something, who knows, but Groot's got wings now, and he can take his friendly raccoon with him. I guess you could technically choose how you display him. You could display like this, obviously going to take up a little bit of space on your shelf, or without it, and you could just go straight like this, which isn't a bad look either. Now, I like this figure a whole lot, actually. I really do like this Groot. I just don't feel like it's worth $50 price point. Got to be honest with you there. Uh, 50 is a bit of a stretch. As we do know, there will be sales. There will be things. The Target thing like we talked about. Entertainment Earth's cheaper than Target right now on this. 
but I really, really would have liked to seen this as the build a figure. I think that makes a lot more sense. Obviously, more sense for our wallets, but I think it's the companies trying to decide what can we get out of the fan base, what extra can we get. Yes, it is deluxe, but like I said, we've had more deluxe build a figures in the past. So I don't know. You guys tell me. I think a lot of you guys will probably agree with that sentiment, I would imagine. Does he fit on a ringside collectibles Mattel stand? Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%, and what do you know? Fits right there like a glove on the stand very, very easily. And, of course, we have some other groups. I think the last group we got was from the Thor Wave roughly about a year ago, maybe 13 months ago or so. Uh, but you can see his growth, <laughs> growth in more ways than one. So he was just a little guy. Now he's a little, much bigger guy right here as he works his way into adulthood. And then there, here's the more classic group we got from back uh, in the day, I guess we'll call it, uh, the original Guardians movies. That's kind of how he is. So you can see he's a lot thicker and bigger right here. Uh, but maybe it's a different Groot. Did I read that or hear that somewhere that, you know, Groot isn't always the same or something? It's a totally different version of Groot or a different Groot. I don't know. You guys can answer that. And then the granddaddy of them all, the best Groot figure of all time. Let's do a top five Groot figures on the channel. How about that? Well, maybe not. But Groot right here, the old Diamond Select, Marvel Select Groot. Really love this one. As we always say about those Marvel Select figures, the big beefy figures, a lot of times you can mix them with your Marvel Legends. You could definitely do it with this Groot. As Groot knows no bounds. He's a little guy. He's a big guy. He's a medium-sized guy. He's all the guys at the end of the day. But a good-looking Groot here. Really do like this one. I think it was a Disney Store exclusive maybe back in the day as well, if I remember correctly. But I don't have any problems with this. My biggest gripe is the price point, And I think you can dance around that with playing a little bit of that long game. Look for some sales, look for a deal, go to Entertainment Earth, use discount code Kyle, save yourself 10%. But $50 feels a little much, but like a $33.99, $35 maybe feels a little bit better, a little bit more palatable on a Groot like this. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land, you picking up this version of Groot, you playing the long game, does anybody disagree with me that this should have been the build a figure as part of the wave? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. Like I said, we're unboxing the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxies and everything else Marvel Legends here on the channel on top of a million other things. So we got a lot of content, a lot of unboxings for you. Might as well subscribe so you can see what you're interested to, as we always do say. Don't forget about the Patreon for early access to videos like this, bonus content, exclusive content, uh, you name it, a lot going on over the old Patreon channel. And best of all, you do support the channel. And you can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Groot, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.